So ignore the state of my hair because I've just got out the shower. <laughs> I had to run down, like I had to quickly throw my clothes on and everything. I was given an all day window for a delivery and it came just as I was getting out the shower. So this is the result of being stood outside in the wind trying to, I don't even know what I was trying to do. I think I was just stood there observing and offering moral support in all honesty. <laughs> this poor bloke turned up. Yeah, he did, didn't he? So he turns up and he's got this big massive bale of wood chip. And I mean, it's going to be a fun job getting it from where it is now to where I need to get it from. But he has to get off the back of the truck and into the front garden because it's too big to come up the path. And I've got a fence that's like up to here on me. Do you know what I mean when I'm stood up? So you should have seen it, this fella. <laughs> I, I genuinely don't know how he did it, but he managed to get off the back of the truck. Like sliding it across the fence and into the garden all by himself. Like genuinely. I, I didn't think he was going to be able to move that by himself, but he did. I was very impressed. Very impressed. Now I've got to find some other poor sucker to get it from my front garden into the back garden for me so I can put it down for him um, in the chicken run. I'm disabled, otherwise I'd do it myself. Like it'd already be done if I wasn't disabled, but there's no way I can do that. <laughs> but the chickens need it, so it's got to be done. So I'm going to have to think of a bribe for my 18 year old now, some sort of incentive. not gonna happen is it i'm gonna have to carry it in tiny like little handbag sized collections of wood chip on eh? <laughs> like a beach bucket or something <laughs> oh. but anyway look at my big bag of wood chip how awesome is this yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's bloody huge <laughs> <laughs> That's me wood. The wood chip for the chicken run. So the garden has absolutely no drainage whatsoever. But obviously when I first started putting stuff out there, I wasn't aware of that because I'd only just moved in. And I was just rearing and eager to get going. Normally I'd wait a year. But I already had quite a lot that I, I had in pots that I wanted to, you know, be home really and like, <laughs> get settled too so yeah i just dove in when really i should have like watched the garden to see how the soil was first for at least a year a full cycle of seasons so i knew what i was working with because i'm gonna have to pretty much start again crop wise because it's just been wiped out by how waterlogged it is um tried to be turfing it it just went waterlogged again and went into a muddy mushy mess again so I can't tackle the main part of the garden just yet. I'm focusing on the chicken run. My priority is getting that sorted for them through the winter because it's completely waterlogged and they run too. And it's happened so fast. It, it's because of that storm. It just doesn't seem to have been able to recover from that storm. It's still completely flooded out there. Like you need bellies or something to walk on it. It's just a quagmire of mud. So I tried re in the chicken run. Again, that didn't work. It just turned to mud within, I'd say, about four or five hours it lasted. And then it was gone and I paid all that money on the turf. So my new idea is um, barking it. I put on bark down in there, wood chip even. And I'm going to hope for the best. My challenge now is actually getting it from the front garden to the back garden. Because <laughs> obviously I'm on my own doing it. It's just turned up. Uh, Anthony's out with his dad, Nimue's out with her dad, and yeah, it, it, I'm on my own at the minute. Um, William's at work till late, I've messaged him, but I'm hoping he comes through for me. Come on, Will, you know you want to. You know you want to spend your Friday evening shoveling, or dragging even. I don't know, I don't even know how you're going to do it. I've not even crossed that bridge yet. Bark from the front garden to the back. That is exactly how you want to spend your Friday night, William. Come help your mum. Come on, son. But on a serious note, he's not going to say yes to that at all. He's just going to laugh at it and tell me no, point blank. 
not on a Friday night. He's been in work for what? I think it's probably about nine hours now. <laughs> so he's just going to tell me where to go on that front, I think. <laughs> so I've got to brainstorm now how I can get it from the front garden to the back garden. But it's going to have to be future Liz's problem. I wonder if my dad's off. Like, look, this is the garden, and even the chicken run has gone the same. So I've got the wood chip for inside the run, because I don't like them walking on the mud when it's like that. Like, it's the whole garden. Like, if there's zoom further on the garden. I tried putting stepping stones down in the run, but that's not really worked either. Oh, I'm shivering. Um, I gave them a bit of pumpkin here, I'm going to have to get my boots on and actually get in there and get that out before it goes dark. Who doesn't attract anything? Oh, I'm shaking, I'm going back in. Oh, I've just realised I haven't even got my mascara on. That's how much of a rush I was in. I, I haven't even finished doing my makeup. I was wondering what looks so different and weird about my eyes. And I've just realised I was halfway through that too. Because I was doing my makeup while my hair was drying off a bit and then I was going to finish it with the air dryer. Oh my word. It must have been looking at my eyes going, oh my god, she looks really weird. I mean, it probably was because of the air anyway, let's be honest. I think most people look at me and go, she's a bit weird. Ah oh, well. <laughs>